Welcome, I'm Hawaiian Shirt Papa. Sometimes with others, I visit a variety of antique, vintage, and thrift shops within Southern Ontario. Sometimes we don't get anything. Come tour with me vicariously. Hi, welcome to a Hawaiian shirt pop a tour of Bob's Antiques. Uh, it's pretty clear, you just have to ask Bob. A uh, friend of ours bought one of these phones, although there were other phones. Here's the outside view. It's on the corner of two uh, mostly r rural roads, although there's a settlement at the crossroads. So here's the outdoors. It's quite the uh, quite the sight. Let's say that it, it's a real blast to go and look around. Uh, you can't really do it very very quickly either. There's just so many things that the magpie eye would catch. Here we are, we're, going around, we're heading to go around the corner if we haven't gone around it quite yet. No, nope, we haven't gone around it yet. So we are basically in the front of the building at the moment. Some sort of business had those signs, that is a sign. I mean, always, I'd be curious to know how he protects all this stuff that's on the outside. I'm sure there's some sort of system, and I wish him luck on how well it works. I mean, it's a small, small settlement. Yes, the windows, as usual. Large f old fire extinguisher. Don't know if it's uh, of any use anymore other than for decoration. There's a small portion that's kind of tarped up. So he's got some things in there. He's got one of those um, table covers. Oh yes, the boat. Now there's something I could have used when I was still working. Uh, the mailboxes, they're actually getting hard to find uh, repair parts for because the company went out of business in the, in the 90s, if not in the 80s. So if you find them, they're probably a good deal for someone who still has to maintain those. A fender. Ah, the boat. Yes. A half boat, the front half of the boat, and a safe that's right behind it. Some horse collars, and here we see the boat clearly cut. The floor is rotted out. Some of the other stuff is there. The radio is apparently gone. Uh, like how often do you find that? Here we are. Now we're going inside. I uh, didn't get much view of the desk area where uh, it's got some small items over there as well. It's got, uh, uh, it was our first ever visit, so we were kind of in awe of what it is we were looking at. And you see these uh, street signs on the floor. Well, they're actual real ones, and they're probably there to make noise. They make a little bit of noise, so whether or not it's a security system knows, or just the fact that the, the uh, uh, proprietor knows where somebody might be. Well, that is a BMW button. 
nice old toboggan. There are books, there are CDs, there are DVDs, there, there's albums, um, LPs that is. Uh, you, you just about name it, you, I'm sure you'll find some example of it here. Uh, not everything is obviously marked for price, so you have to ask Bob. Ah, turntable. Uh, actually, a portable record player. So we have uh, some interesting uh, objects, like around that looked like a tailgate door for a pickup truck there. Air, uh, American Air Force button or two. yard signs. Some things I think were made and um, to be sold here as a handicraft of some sort. Not clear. I didn't have enough time to start getting into a deep discussion about everything. As we were on a mission and this one uh, caught our eye. We stopped in. We had enough time to look around for sure. Um, it actually stopped us from going to uh, Valley Village uh, which Google was sending us to we knew about the Valley Village but we didn't know about this place this was a treasure mine a treasure trove for treasure mine pot of gold however you wish to refer to it Automobiliana Coca-Cola stuff Presley beer baseball gloves there they seem to be in a lot of places oil can stuff telephones and they weren't all in one place they were scattered through the place I have a friend who uh, likes vintage telephones like the one uh, those two there Motorcycle tank or scooter tank at least. Stuffed toys, uh, helmets, some kinds of artwork. There's furniture. If you are actually looking for something very specific, you may want to go s talk to Bob and right when you come in instead. He'll probably know where the thing is. And then you may have to dig it out from underneath the stuff. So, instant families, instant relatives there, I should say. The old photographs. Yeah, when you walk into the building, or you just come into that little space, and then you see a door to the side, and you're greeted with this. But this is actually the second room. There's a doorway that you come into, which separates a large room from an even larger room. The even larger room appears to have a garage door, which would indicate that it was intended for a vehicle to enter. Yes, there are some things that are toys. And there isn't exactly one particular route that you could take. Although the aisles are nice. They're not they're not exceptionally wide, but they're not exceptionally narrow either. Electronics and test equipment even. They seem to be showing up in a number of places. Oh, here we are. Fishing reels. I'm sure someone has some great interest in some of these older fishing reels. The 
there's one place there's a bit of a trip hazard so you have to watch your step there's a pipe crosses the floor we just did that spot there and some of these aisles in the second room are dead-ended ones so if they go in you have to come back the same aisle Some really nice uh, collectible items in this one. Some signage that you don't necessarily see all the time. Those are a pair of old, old electric hot plates. Don't see them like that anymore. Those were the exposed spirals. This is that first look through. This is back on the outside and back on the inside. Thanks for this, uh, for watching this video of Bob's Antiques. They're located in Font Hill. You can see the exact location that, I, as I posted as part of the location of the video in the description area. Now, I hope you subscribe and check off for the uh, notifications as well. We're catching up on our backlog of videos. So this is fairly recent. Thanks.